with you. Can I do it? Next, we're looking into Can another common excuse people give for piling on the pounds. Let me do them golden locks. Tracy Cook's convinced her glands are the reason she can't lose weight. I've got an underactive thyroid. I've had that now for quite a few years. They found out just after I had my first child. I've taken the thyroxine now for 12 years, but I do feel that the thyroid problem for me has got a major contribution to my size. In the size I am, I'm considered morbidly obese. Despite being on corrective medication for her thyroid, Trace is planning gastric surgery in a last-ditch attempt to lose weight. I've tried the liquid diet, I've had appetite suppressants, I've even gone down the amphetamine route, but I got fed up of standing ironing at four o'clock in the morning, so I thought, no, that's not going to work for me either. In Dr Ian Campbell's experience, an underactive thyroid is rarely a reason for obesity. There are many hormones that influence our appetite and the way our body regulates our weight. And, and those can have a real impact on certain individuals. One of the most common ones that people think of is their thyroid gland. And in actual fact, when you measure thyroxine levels in obese individuals, only about 1% have an underactive thyroid. Interestingly, when you correct that problem with medical treatment, they tend not to lose weight, so it probably wasn't the underlying reason for the weight in any case. Let's have a look at your waist measurements. Jane Deville Armand is a nurse who works trying to educate the public about weight. It's 32. Oh, how dreadful. Dispatches sent Jane to visit Tracy Cook to persuade her gastric surgery isn't the only solution to her gland problem. My worry for a lot of people is that if you believe that the cause of your weight is something, something medical that you can't do anything about, it makes it mentally very much more difficult for you to get into the mindset that you yeah. can actually do something about it. Well, gastric banding is what I'm waiting to have done now. Okay. I mean, I've been told it'll be February. But we're speaking to my friends and family and everybody that cares. They're trying to urge me not to have it done. Jane enlists the help of Tracy's friends to encourage her to stop blaming her glands and to start eating less. 